Your name is above all 
there when nobody else was. Think of how when everybody else let you down, he's been a good friend. He's kept every promise. He never reneged on his word. He never misjudged you. He never took advantage of you. He looked beyond your faults and saw your need. Lift your hands, open your mouth and worship. If you didn't come to worship, you're in the wrong place tonight. Open your mouth and bless you. Shut! Shema! Come on out of your belly. Think of his goodness. Think of his favor. Think of his peace. Think of his mercy. Think of his love. Think of his kindness. Think of his peace. He's altogether wonderful. He's altogether awesome. 
I would trade him for nothing in the world. He's the lover of my soul. He's my redeemer. He's my keeper. He's my way maker. Shayla Mania. Oh, let me. Selebanda la 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 mosh. Brace the bandi ni bikiya.
together wonderful. All together wonderful. wonderful. Let me see you bow down. Here, Here I, I am, am to bow down. Bow in his presence. Here I am. Just want to say, you're my God. time without the music say here I am to come on bow down here I am to, to Together, wonderful. All together, all together, wonderful. Lift your hands for the next sixty seconds. Lift your hands and sing in your heavenly language, right? Hallelujah. Oh, I say, sing in your heavenly language. Ola baba Shaba Ola ba sandele me Shika baba baba rebele bandiri di onshe Ola mo sandolo mo kita Shendele me ti ala manzo Some of y'all looking around Forget about your neighbor Forget about Prophet Khan. It ain't about me. It's about him. Focus on him. Some of y'all been looking at me all night. I can't do nothing for you. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. He's the way maker. Lift your hands and bless your daddy. Bless your daddy. Shaba, oh ho ho ho, Shaba, yeah, my God, my God, worthy, 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 worthy is the Lamb, is the Lamb, is the Lamb, shake, oh my 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 shake, Allah. You know, love, love, oh, shame. Hey, Mama, Oma, Sikaya, Telemania, Holo, Bolo, Shande, Lele, Besta, Bere, Bere, Tutela, La Basta, Condele, Beshi, Catala, Banzo, Utele, Rapatolo, Pule, Bele, Balancia, Telebancha, Golaba, Santa, La Yokes are breaking. 
Yokes are being destroyed. Yeah. Just one moment in his presence is worth it all. Just one moment in the presence of God is worth it all. Just one moment in his presence is worth every lie, every scandal, every trial, every pain, every setback, every mishap. If I can just have one moment in his presence, it's worth it all. You can talk about me, just give me his presence. You can lie on me, but just give me his presence. One moment in the presence of God is worth it all. Shama, hallelujah, 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 lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your Hey, Shaba. Hey, 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 Masondo. His presence is in this building. Shaba! Shay. Abanziri Bikitai. Come on, come on, come on. Lift your hands. Some of y'all looking at me. Get your eyes off of me. Take your eyes off of me. It's not about me, it's about him. It's about him. Whatever you need, it's about him. Shanda, Lord Jesus, my soul, Shabbat, Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, my soul, come on, Lord. Jesus, everybody, bless his name, my soul seeks to please him, 
Oh my soul Cease To please him Every morning I wake up My soul Seeks To please him Come on Bless His name Oh my soul Every day I wake up, my soul seeks to please Him. Oh, yeah, my soul, get there before me, seeks to please Him. What you going to do? Bless His name. Yes, yes, everybody, yes, 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 God bless you, God bless you. Some of you come with an, and I'm, I didn't come the first night, but some of you come with a spectating entertainment spirit. Worship is, you don't come to worship to spectate. You come in God's presence to participate. He said, if I be lifted up, he said, I'll draw men unto me. So for the next 30 seconds, lift your hands. Close your eyes. If I see you looking at me, I'm going to come hit you in the eye. Forget me. Forget Prophet Khan. I didn't do it. He did it. I didn't bring you out. God brought you out. I didn't deliver you. God delivered you. I didn't heal you. God healed you. I didn't keep your children. God kept your children. I didn't pay that bill. God did. Lift your hands and bless his name. Don't stop all this walk. Shama. Tomasia, Emashaya, yes Lord, yes Lord. He wants to be worshipped. He wants to be adored. He wants to be magnified. Think of his favor. Come on, think of his peace. Think of it. Bless it. Love on him. I say love on him. Love on your daddy. Love on your daddy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Blessed Lord Evoke. Blessed Lord Jesus. Let 
Bless it, Lord. Bless it, Lord Jesus. Bless it, Lord Jesus. You are Alpha and Omega. Everybody say, We worship you, our Lord. Come on. You are worthy to be praised. Lift your hands. Come on. Tell him. You are Alpha. We worship you, our Lord. You're worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Lift your hands. Ele me, ele manda la basura. On ele me, ki ele benda la 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 manso yo. Ona masi ki endere di oshata la 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 manda ye manda mosi ki anda maya ushe me ki eki di akamans ona lele me she amaya ondo lo lo mosi ki endele be kita o mana na 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 masondo lo 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 mo. Hallelujah, 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 Shema. Oh, come on, da la 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 la. Shea, kola banda la baselebe, ikala banda la la basu. Shebe, bebe bebe be, she ta da 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 bansa. Ikabanda ba de biki e kabakusha. We sti be kundi de biki e nzelele be ka. Halala ba hasi ala bando lo 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 boko. Rebere de banda la la ba de de bi de de be de de kosha. She be 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 she te de de be kosha da ba ha. He manasa. Ona da 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 man sokora da 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 ba. She ababa solo boko. Ye de de be de de be kosha. Halalalala man so. Usha ba habata kanyakato. Uka pa 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 shike bete ba kasi kibi eskado kibi bibi yanda da da bahu da bahu haba da ba de de bi de de bi de de eisha da bahai breaka don zuza ba kundi de de kia halala bahush hallelujah 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 bless the Lord bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Are you glad to be here tonight in Jesus' name? Come on, clap your hands if you. Glad to be here. Come on, come on, come on. Clap your hand like the devil's head is in between it. I say clap your hand like the devil's head is in between it. Smash them together. Hey! 
Hey, Shama. Woo. Tonight, I believe you've made uh, an appointment with with uh, destiny. We got people watching from London and Phoenix, Las Vegas, Detroit, Chicago, Monroe, Kalamazoo, Toledo, Orlando, New Jersey, Tennessee, Palm Springs, Beaufort, Raleigh, St. Thomas. We got people everywhere. Y'all need to clap your hands, folks. You need to clap your hands because they wish they could be here and you here. If you don't act right, I'm going to go send them a plane to take your seat. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. Listen, I got some prayer requests here. We're going to pray for a minute. Strings. We're going to pray for a minute and uh, believe in God. I'm excited about what God's going to do tonight. You know? I'm excited. I've been with God. You know, nothing like being in the presence of God. You know that? Amen. Some of y'all sitting by some dead folk tonight. I feel sorry for you. I really do. I really do. I would not sit next to nobody in church that don't move. I'd act like the Holy Ghost hit me and just slap him. going to pray for Apostle Sean and Jennifer Cobb, Lady Ella. Somebody needs help on their graduation exam. Praying for the restoration of family. Blessed by the best wants us to pray for her finances. Somebody need their grandmother healed. A young man named Colin needs a generational curse broken. Somebody else wants their family saved. Somebody named Gwen wants wisdom. There's a young lady named Jaquita wants her mom to be delivered from drugs and alcohol. Can't nobody do it but him. If God don't do it, it cannot be done. One can chase a thousand. Two can chase ten thousand. Matthew, he said, whatsoever two or three touch and agree. See, you got to find you somebody that you can agree with. You can't agree with everybody because everybody don't understand what's going on in your life. But when you find you somebody you can agree with, there's power in agreement. the anointing all over this building and wherever two or three touch and agree it shall be done so join hands all across your your row you don't have to go in the middle just all across your row join hands if you got a neighbor that's acting crazy just squeeze their hand as hard as you can father in the name of jesus God, we lift up every person watching. We lift up those who are calling on you. We lift up every young man, every young woman, every mother, every father bound by addiction. Say the Lord rebuke you. Say, Ko Sikai. The blood of Jesus is against you. In the Bibbenzusa I just saw a host of angels being released. I saw angels going to people's house right now. Sinzo kushay, 
somebody watching God sending an angel to your house right where you are God's releasing miracles all over Satan the Lord rebuke you we bind you now the blood of Jesus is against you God we lift up every ministry watching somebody wants wisdom somebody got a mother bound by an addiction Satan you're the hap God you're the habit breaker Satan take your hands off of her Take your hands off of that man who can't put down that beer bottle. Take your hands off of that woman who can't put down cocaine. Take your hands off of that girl who won't listen to a mother. I decree victory in the name of Jesus. Victory over our finances. Victory over your money. Victory over your house. Victory in the name of Jesus. I decree it tonight that it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Clap your hands. We know it's done. Uh, what camera am I going to be talking to? Is it that one? With the red light? Okay. Good. Glad to be here. Everybody get your Bibles. A little softer. Amos the third chapter. Verse 7, Pastor Dutton, let me hold your Bible, please. You know, I'm not getting no internet connection down oh, down here. I don't know who to tell that to, but uh, I want to see it on my computer, so can somebody get some help for me? Hallelujah. I got the computer, it just ain't pulling up, I don't think. It started. All right. Amos chapter 3. When you have it, say, I got it. You don't have it, say, wait on me. I'm waiting. You that said, oh, I'm coming here to have church. You had the wrong place. Some of y'all having church but ain't having Christ. But that's not what I come to talk about. It's on the thing. What you going to do? Okay. <laughs> Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Say amen. amen. You know, I don't believe no one is here because you don't want to be here. Because I don't think nobody made you come. You can sit down. I know it's a custom to stand up for the reading of the word. If you want to stand, you're going to be standing all night. Because I'm going to be reading a whole lot of scriptures. Um, Amos chapter 3 verse 7. I don't believe no one's here who don't want to be here. I believe everybody here wants to be here in Jesus' name. Slap your neighbor say you need a prophet in your life. You got the wrong neighbor. Look at somebody. Tell them you need a prophet in your life. That's right. Everybody needs a prophet in their life. I mean, absolutely everybody needs a prophet. You believe that? Yeah. My goodness. We got people watching from um, South Korea. Um somebody else in Canada uh, uh, I guess uh, Hillary is blind she can't see but she says she can feel the presence of God coming through her computer amen well, tell somebody it's going to get stronger but uh, we're here tonight and um we're doing some big stuff for God. You know, Amos chapter 3, verse 7. When you have it, say amen. amen. I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to teach and I'm going to talk to you. Of course, you all know I can preach and make you hoop and shout. And probably I will when the camera go off. I get wild, okay? But I'm, I'm doing something that God has laid upon my heart to do. And to reach this next place that God wants us to reach. I believe some of us are going to miss the next move of God because we don't have spiritual elasticity. We're not versatile. We don't have the ability to move, to change whenever God tells us to change. 
some of us are so set in our ways that God can't do what he wants to do. But look at somebody say change. change. You know, whenever God's getting ready to bring change in your life, change is not always comfortable. Yeah, uh, it, it doesn't feel good when your feet are growing and you're trying to put a shoe on that don't fit. Look at somebody say it just won't fit. Yeah, that's right. I, I believe that was, uh, I heard Bishop talking about when God said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. Nicodemus said, how can I re-enter into my mother's womb? You know, he was basically saying, as I heard Bishop say, he was basically saying, the womb that I'm in is too small. And some of you are trying to go back to a womb that's too small for you. Some of you are trying to go back places that God has delivered you out of, trying to go back. But when God bring you out, slap your neighbor and say, you got to stay out. My God, now some of y'all ain't talking and I, I'm... I promise you I'm going to get this table and just get a cloth or something. But look at somebody and say, you got to stay out. Yeah. yeah, whenever God delivers you from one place into another and brings you out of it, you know, you cannot go back. You got to understand that when you go back on truth, it's okay. But when you go back on revelation, you lose something. Because any time God reveals something to you, it can't be taken away from you. I said, anytime you really get a true revelation of who God is, it cannot be taken away from you. The truth of the matter is the reason people have no anchor in God is because they've never had a genuine experience. If you've ever had an experience with God, it cannot be denied. I don't care. Somebody can come to you and tell you that's not real. You're faking. God ain't real. But if you've ever had an experience with God, you can look at somebody and say, listen, I don't know what you're talking about. I know God is real. How do you know? Because I experience him for myself. Amen. So look at somebody and say, don't go back. So here it is. God is um, taking us from one place into another and I believe God is um, bringing change. Amen? Amen? Somebody shout change. change. Amos chapter 3 verse 7 when you have it say I got, I got it. If you don't have it say wait on me. Yeah something wrong with you if you didn't have it by then. <laughs> Amos chapter 3 verse 7 the Bible declares surely the Lord God will do what? Talk back to me. We'll do what? Nothing. Surely the Lord God will do what? Nothing. Surely the Lord God will do what? Nothing. But he revealeth his secrets unto his servants the what? Nothing. There is no other office in the church that God reveals his secrets to. That's why you need a prophet. God began to speak to my heart and he began to show me that the prophet has different capacities and different things that the prophet do. See, the prophet is the tongue of God. Uh, on your tongue is located your taste buds. And don't tell me you can't taste God because the Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. But the prophet is the tongue of God, which means the prophet has the ability to dissect a word to you in such a way that you can taste it. Yes. Yeah, he, he has the ability to speak a word to you. See, if I don't give you the right word the right way, yes. it can leave a sour taste in your mouth. Yes. So I have to have the wisdom of God so I know how to speak the word that he gives me. Believe it or not, some people have genuine gifts. They have genuine gifts of prophecy. God has called them to be prophets, but they have not learned how to use their gift. So because they've not learned how to use it, they abuse it and turn people off with their gift. But whenever God gives you a gift, you have a responsibility to learn how to work your gift. Talk back to me in here. Look at somebody and say, learn how to work your gift. And that's what the prophet has come from. The prophet has come to be the tongue of God. I've come to taste things. I come to, to give you the word of God. And, and, and you know what? Not only does the tongue help you to taste, but the tongue also helps you to articulate. That's why uh, uh, prophets should not just 
be able to say God's going to give you a house. There ought to be more in their vocabulary other than houses and cars. True prophets have to stay in tune with what God is doing in the world. We have to be able to articulate the word of the Lord to a king as well as to a peasant. I have to be able to speak the word of God to you in such a way that if I'm talking to the king of, of, of Jaffe Jofa on coming to America, bless the Lord. If I have to speak to the king of Zamunda, isn't that right? Yeah. If I got to speak to the king of Zamunda or if I have to speak to a poor man on the side of the road, I can speak a word to him that will bring understanding. Because remember, Proverbs 4 and 7 declares that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get what? Wisdom. But but in all your getting, get what? And some of you, you'd be, you, you be surprised how many of us come to church, dance and shout, but really don't have any understanding. We don't know what we believe. We don't know who we believe. We don't know what we have confidence in. But look at somebody and say, I need a prophet. My God, if you don't say it loud, I promise you, I'm going to hit you at the top of this mic. Say, I need a prophet. I need yeah, everybody needs a prophet in their life because God has established and set up prophets in the church. Ephesians 4.11 declares, and he gave some apostles, and he gave some what? Prophets, yeah. Everybody's not a prophet. You have to be careful. And let me let me help you. I believe I believe something that has bothered the church or what's going on in the church is we make you feel that the minute you meet a prophet, everything is gonna go good. I beg to differ. When a real prophet comes into your life, you're gonna begin to go through some of the worst trials you've ever been through in your life. Because when a prophet speaks a word in your life, behind every prophecy comes a test. Oh, you're not talking back to me. I said behind every prophecy comes a test. What does that mean? That means God will speak to you and tell you that you're going to come out. But the minute God tells you you're going to come out, seem like you begin to go through the most hell that you've ever been through in your life. And you have to go through that because God wants to see if in the midst of what you're going through, you're going to hold on to that word that he spoke over your life. Look at your neighbor. Say everything ain't going to way I want it but I got a word from the Lord and if I got a word from the Lord I know everything's going to be alright God made me a promise God is not a man that he should lie I'm just going to be still I'm going to wait I'm going to pray until I get what God said slap your neighbor tell him I got a word from the Lord you got the wrong neighbor they don't get excited enough tell somebody I got a word from the Lord yeah I might not have a dime in my pocket, but I got a word. I might not have everything I want, but I got a word. I don't have all the money I want, but I got a word. And if I hold on to the word, the word gonna produce the money, the anointing, the house, the car, and the business. Shake your neighbor and say, I got a word. Sit down. Sit down. All it takes is one word from the Lord to change your situation. Somebody say one word. And if you know it or not, I mean, you now listen, let, be very honest. You have the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher. But out of every office in the church, the office that is fought the most is the prophet. You don't, you don't hear pastors talking against apostles and pastors but what they what sometimes people uh, the, the one that the enemy wants you to fight the most is the prophet yes. you want to know why because your prosperity is connected to the prophet see the enemy the enemy knows that if I can get you to despise prophecy you'll never be blessed because Second Chronicles 20 and 20 declares, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets and so shall you what? Are, are you understanding what I'm saying? All you need is a prophet that can speak a word 
that can change your present situation. Slap your neighbor. Say, I need a prophet. Say it again. I need a prophet. Tell somebody else, I need a prophet. Now, now, I don't need an entertainer. I don't need nobody to make me feel good. I need somebody to speak to me when I can't hear from God for myself. Oh, y'all not talking. See, some of y'all in here acting like you always can hear God for yourself. But every now and then, you better have a friend that can tap into God. Am I right about it? I said, I'm, sit down, y'all. Am I right? Yes. Amen. Yep. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Every, now Every now and then. Come on, look at him. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Every now and then, now and you, need then. you need a friend that can tap into God. You better believe that because you're going to go through some things in your life where you're not going to be able to hear God for yourself. You're going to go through some things in your life where you get on your knees and pray and seem like God don't say nothing. But you better have a friend that know how to get a hold to heaven that can say, listen, the Holy Ghost told me to tell you, it may not be no big prophecy, but every now and then you need a prophet that can tell you, listen, everything is going to be I got to sit down. I'm supposed to be teaching. Amen. So the prophet is the tongue of God. We articulate. We speak God's word with clarity. I, and not only does the tongue help you to taste, not only does it help you to articulate, but the tongue also helps you to swallow. I dare you to try to swallow without your tongue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, most of the time you let your food sit on your tongue before you swallow it. So the prophet comes not only to help you taste your word, not only does it come to help you articulate your word, but the prophet also comes to help you get that food in your system. So I want to suggest that not only is the prophet the tongue of God, but the prophet is the teeth of God. Y'all not talking back to me. The prophet is the teeth of God. Now, uh, your teeth, and any of y'all that ever lost teeth, uh, and you know, you're limited. Now, I had an auntie that wasn't limited. She could, she could eat a whole pork chop with no teeth in her mouth. Gnaw on the bone. But let me help you understand why you need a prophet. Because uh, when God speaks, sometimes God speaks big. You understand? What's his name? Terrell. 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 Make him look at me. Make him look at me. Turn him. Bring him to me. I think I prayed for him before. Bring him to me. Bring him, baby. Like now? Like soon? <laughs> you know, I, I told you, you know, there's a difference between a cry and a, and a cry. See, now, deliverance taking place, right? Now, some of y'all think that you got to cough up for deliverance to take place. But the word of God is a sword. And while the word is being preached, it cuts things. And see, some of y'all in here have spirits on you, but while the word's coming forth, that word cuts it off of you. But what the enemy does is he comes and he jumps and he go praise on the innocent. See, a baby can't fight. They don't know how to warfare. So the enemy goes to a child to mess with the child. But notice that as soon as he got in the presence of the anointing. You see, he immediately stopped crying. You understand? I feel the Holy Ghost. So it's fine. Peace to you, man, all right? You loud. Peace to you. Jesus' name makes you whole. Jesus makes you whole. Excuse me. All right, you're good. Bless you. Now. 
Um, tell somebody you need a prophet. Now let me help you understand. The prophet is not only the tongue of God, but he's also the teeth of God. And what do you mean the teeth of God? When God speaks, he speaks big. He speaks very big. And if you don't have somebody there to break down, anybody ever had God speak something to you, but you didn't exactly know what he was saying? You know, you knew he was saying something, but you couldn't put your hand on. Uh, am I making sense to you? Because sometimes God speaks in parts. Especially, in, how many people in here are dreamers? Raise your hand if you're a dreamer. Now look at all these rooms full of dreamers. Uh, if you're a dreamer, you got to learn that you don't always get your whole dream one night. You may have a dream on Tuesday that may not finish to two weeks later. That's why you got to learn how to write down every dream that you have. And what the enemy likes to do, the enemy likes between night and morning to steal your dreams. And you be remembered it, but by, by, uh, by a couple of hours later, you don't even remember what you dreamed about. Because what the enemy wants to do, he wants to steal from you your dream because God's trying to talk to you. But he, by Hoshiki Anzada, but he knows that if I can get you to forget what God is saying, you'll never go to your next level. Am I making sense to you? So you need a prophet. Pharaoh, the kings, disaster was going on. They were having dreams, but they could not understand it. But guess who they had to go to? They had to find a what? Prophet. And the prophet had the ability to tap into God for them. To help them understand what God was... Am I making sense to you? Help them understand what God was trying to say. I know some of you say, I don't need nobody to help me. I know God for myself. But let me tell you something. The, the more mature you get in God, the longer you have been in God, there are some seasons where God don't talk at all. And you need somebody... That can hold your hand and say, you can't give up now. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. I know some of y'all act like y'all got it all together. But you need to learn how to get connected to some friends who won't let you give up. Because sometimes you want to get, see y'all ain't going to be honest in here. Sometimes you want to throw in the tower. Sometimes you say, Lord, you can just take me. If I got to deal with all of this, I'd rather be in heaven than be dealing with all these two-faced folk around here. Y'all ain't going to be honest in here. But, 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 but every now and then, you need somebody that's going to say, hold on now. The prophet is the tongue of God. But it's also the teeth of God. What does your teeth do? Your teeth takes a whole big old steak. And what does it do? Break it down. And when it breaks it down, it breaks it down in such a way that you can swallow it and it can go to every part of your body. Tell somebody you need a prophet. In a very strategic hour now, the ends of the world are upon us with the consummation of time. Has there ever been a time where you needed to hear God? The time is now. Has there ever been a time where you need to get connected to somebody who can tap into God? The time is now. All it takes is one word for your life to change. You understand that? I said all it, I said all it takes is one word. I said all it takes is one word. Somebody say one word. Come here. C come hold my hand. Come on. And then I say, all it takes is one word. Amen. One word for your life to change. Now, y'all see her? Give me the camera. Lay, look at me. Lay, mm, come here. Amen. My daddy like you. He love to hear you speak in tongues. <laughs> this young lady was in Atlanta. Pastor Hogan Church in Atlanta. Her home 
was in foreclosure. Am I right? Sold. Home was in foreclosure. I didn't know her from Adam. I walked up to her. And what did I do? I forgot. What I did. First, he called my initial. He said, A.T. Then he said, Andrea Thomas. And then he called me to the middle of the aisle. And then he went back over there and started praying for somebody else. Then he came over. He asked me. He said, what's Sandstone? And I told him, that's my address, the street I live on. He said, well, who live at the house with you? And I told him, my husband and my children. He said, well, is they here with you tonight? I said, no. He said, well, when you saw a seed of $206, which was my address, that God was going to fix it in my home. And so Now, I told her to sow a seed of $206. And I said to her, when you sow that seed, God's going, whatever going on at your house, and I, hope, I don't know her home in foreclosure, but the Holy Ghost know. Whatever going on at your house, K A B A Shiki Anzazabakuya, I felt that in the Holy Ghost. Slap your neighbor, say, whatever going on in your house, God getting ready to set some things in order. Sit down. So, so, I said, um, so a seat of $206, and whatever going on in your house, God going to work it out. Talk to me. What happened? And then in the meantime, like the prophet said, when you get a, pro a prophecy, you go through a test. And in the meantime, I got home, and every time we would call to try to get people to help us with it, they were like, no. I got to stop you one more time. Because when I told her to give 206 she didn't have it. Now, God asked her for something she didn't have. But when she got home, the next day she got a check in the mail for the exact amount of money that God... Y'all ain't talking to me, do Am I right? Go ahead. And, uh, and so everybody was telling us, no, they couldn't help us. Georgia's a lost tradition state. You can't get your house back once it's been foreclosed. In the meantime, me and my husband, we had to go to court. They don't gave us the date to be evicted and everything. They gave us an extension for two weeks. And I didn't pack. I didn't call a U-Haul. And on October the 12th, the 13th, they wanted us to be out the house. But on October the 12th, we got a, um, a TV. Uh, the Attorney General had put all halts and foreclosures and evictions. <laughs> Nobody could it's about 50 states that they couldn't foreclose on your house or evict you on October the 12th. So on the 13th, we were still in our house. And then about eight days later, GMAC Morgan called us and told us they're going to rescind the foreclosure. And they gave us a whole new contract on our house just like we had bought it. Just bought it. One word. Huh? One word. All it took was one word. Bless you. Bless you. Now, did y'all get that? She said she's going to lose her house. But, but, but the attorney, whoever, who, where their name, who was it? Attorney General spoke a word. And guess what? Isn't that something? God wanted her to have her house so much that the Holy Ghost broke the law. He made the attorney general say that you can't put nobody out their house. Not just in Georgia, but in every state. Y'all ain't talking to me. See, some people gonna get blessed just because they connected to you. Am I making sense? Slap your neighbor say, you need a prophet. Need a prophet. Say it again, you need a prophet. Need a prophet. I'm supposed to be sitting down. You know you need a prophet. Y'all know that? Yeah. yeah. You got to have one. And so, God spoke to me at the close of last year. And he said to me very softly, strings, super duper duper soft. Real anointed. Um, God spoke to me at the end of last year. What time is it? Lord spoke to me at the end of last year. And he said to me, he said, son, 
I want the old you to die. I said, okay. I said, what that mean now? I said, because I am planning on dying. He said, I literally want you to grieve. Go through the grieving process of the old you. Because what I required last year, I'm not requiring this year. What I put up with last year, I'm not putting up with this year. I'm giving you more. And to whom much is given, much is what? Required. So it's the end of the year and God spoke to me and said, um, son, study the internet. And that's what I started doing. I started studying the internet. Found out that the number one looked at website in America is pornography. Lust. Perversion. Married men not satisfied with their own wives. Married women not satisfied with their own husband. Greed. Pornography. And God spoke to me, said, son, I'm giving you an assignment tonight. I said, what is it? He said, your assignment is to interrupt pornography with the prophetic. I said, okay. He said to me, he said, I want you to have a relaunching on March 9th. Not knowing that March 9th is Ash Wednesday. 40 days before Easter. There's a new me coming. But the old one got to die. Jesus died because there's a new somebody coming. And I've been preparing myself mentally for what God's getting ready to do. I'm very excited about it, but I know it's going to take great, great, great responsibility. So God began to speak to me. He said, son, you have the teeth of God. People in Japan watching. My good, hey, uh, ni hao. That's China. I don't know how you say it in uh, ni hao. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hikata baba kushia. Break a don't zuzaba kundi bikie. Hey, can you find out how many people are watching? So God began to speak to me. He said, son, you're a prophet. He said, and the prophet that you are, you're my teeth. You're my tongue. You're my whole mouth. Whenever I'm going to do anything, I reveal it to a prophet. Whenever I'm going to take my people from one place to another, I reveal it to a prophet. All through the Bible, whenever there was calamity, God raised up a prophet. Prophets always came out of nowhere. My dad is not a bishop. My granddaddy is not a bishop. I didn't come from a lineage of preachers. Don't know where I come from. Just like Elijah, 1 Kings 17. We don't know where he come from. Chapter 1 to chapter 16, he's nowhere. Chapter 17, he stands up, and when he gets up, he ain't in the desert. He's standing before the king. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, Before whom I stand, before, uh, before the God of Israel, before whom I stand, there should be no dew, no rain these years, but according to my word. Did you get that? Yes, see, see, Elijah came out of nowhere, but the nowhere he came out of was from the backside of the desert. While nobody was paying him attention, God was raising up a man named Elijah. Somebody slap your neighbor, say, you need a prophet. Oh, that's wonderful. Say, you need a prophet. You're not talking back to me. Say, you need a prophet. Come out of nowhere. I'd like to say Elijah Mayer came from the order of Melchizedek, having no mother, no father. 
ancient of days. We don't know where he came from. The Bible never even tells us who Elijah's parents are. All we know is he showed up out of nowhere. Because where you come from don't matter. When the hand of God is on your life. Look at your neighbor. Say my past has nothing to do with my future. Tell somebody else. My past has nothing to do with my future. Say it again. My past has nothing to do with my future. Do you believe that tonight? So God began to speak to my heart. And he began to say to me, he said, son, you're my teeth. You're my tongue. You're my mouth. God spoke to me and he said, son, I've called you to nations. And this is a whole different season in my life. Well, God's calling Brian Karn to a higher height and a deeper depth. On the third row, you have glasses on right there. Stand up. Turn your head. Lady, lady, lift your hands. Stretch your hands toward her. Put the camera on her. For the hand of the Lord is on your life. For the last two and a half years, you've been going through a slow place, very dry place. Seeking God, asking him which way to turn. What are you doing with my life? People whom I thought was my friend, I don't know where they are. When I need them the most, I can't find them. When I need help, I don't know where they are. God, what are you doing with my life? But the Spirit of God says in this season, I'm getting ready to usher you into a new place. Well, you've not come here for nothing, but you've come here because God is getting ready to turn your situation around. For God told me to tell you right now, as I'm speaking, you're in a season of transition. God is transitioning you from one place into another. And the spirit of God will have me to say unto you, don't worry about everything you've lost over the last five months. For there's getting ready to be a restitution of all things. He's going to restore to you the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, yea, even the locusts have eaten away. For even this day, the spirit of God will say unto you, even this day, the spirit of God will say unto you, come on baby, come on baby, move quick while the anointing's here. For even this day, the spirit of God will say unto you, that I'm lifting the load off of your shoulder and I'm causing what the enemy has meant for bad to be turned for your good. There's a healing taking place in your blood, not only in your blood, but in your back. You have a condition that needs a miracle. There was an accident where you could have lost your life, but God spared you. God said, this is a sign that I'm getting ready to turn everything around. Yea, even in that young man's life you've been praying for. For even this day, God told me to tell you, I'm reversing the power of the soothsayer and what the witch tried to do against you it shall not work for even this day the migraine headaches are being removed and God's getting ready to bring you into a sure place I stir up in you the gift of prophecy and the ministry of prayer that God has placed in your belly people look at you but don't know where you came from when you was about 23, 24, 25 years old the enemy walked all over your life I saw people took advantage of you walked in and out of your life but God said this day I'm healing you and causing you to walk into a new place a lamb that flows with milk and honey this day you're in a new season by the power somebody scream in here I say scream baby come on lift your hand for even this day you press your way to get here tonight and because you press your way I don't know where you come from but the spirit of God told me to tell you that that situation going on in your house he's getting ready to set that thing in order you have given and given and given and given but the enemy has come and stolen your joy 
but tonight God's going to heal your body there's an infirmity in your body and you need a miracle God's going to set you free not only is God going to do that I see two youngins heavy on your heart you've been praying for God told me to tell you I'm getting ready to break the bondage off of them not only is God getting ready to break the bondage off of them but God told me to tell you that I'm getting ready to move in your house and the spirit of division and confusion that has been in your house is getting ready to go I'm going to lay hands on you tonight in the spirit I saw two witches that plotted against you that's why you ain't been sleeping at night that's why you can't get no rest but tonight God told me to curse Shato Kotore I need somebody to scream the curse is broken somebody say broken say broken say broken lift your hands young lift your hand the hand of the Lord is upon you you've been chosen from your mother's womb but the enemy fights you tooth and nail to make you feel like you'll never reach the place of your potential I saw where you were in school but you quit and you stopped for a season but God told me to tell you this is the season for you to go back you're going to finish you're going to graduate with the degree of your desire when I lay hands on you God's getting ready to stir up every gift in your belly that's been lying dormant the hand of God is on you I see an influx of women who are going to be delivered from your testimony you went through something in a relationship about a year and a half ago where your heart was broken in pieces but God said I had you to go through it to birth a new ministry in you but I decree in Jesus name that this ministry somebody scream shall come forth with power show hey 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 Ila baba baba nzoi Zanda baka tai Ika bada bandele lebe hoshai Prise bandele be koto Rekele be hoshai Rasa bandele la bohoya Rendele lebe lele bandi di dibidi di hoshai Preste lebe kurande Lala la bahasaya Ushende Ushaba Rasa bokunye Come here. Come here. Come on. Lift your hand. It breaks. It breaks. It breaks tonight. Every stronghold is broken off of your life. There's a demon of depression that fights you. I see a demon that comes in your room at night and makes you feel like you'll never go anywhere. But tonight, every oppression and every depression is being broken off of your life. Some man made you a promise and didn't do what he said he was going to do. And you've been holding on to this thing. But if you don't let it go tonight, if you don't let it go tonight, I see an enemy trying to give you cancer. But cancer going to die. I say cancer going to die. Somebody scream. Look at your neighbor, say it's going to die. Sit down. Sit down. Come here. Come here, hurry. Hurry, baby. Come on, don't have all night. Lift your hands. Shh. Not louder than me. Sit down, y'all. Sit down, sit down. Come here, come here. Can, can, I, can you come here? Come here, you, in the black. Right here, baby. Come here. Stand right here. Lift your hand. I want you to put your right hand right there. Just a little lower. That's somebody's cell phone. Put your hand right there. 
I'm going to tell you what I saw when I looked at you. I saw a demon wrapped around your spiritual womb. And you've been trying to produce in the spirit, but you can't. Go shy. Because there's a demonic midwife right by your womb. But the demonic midwife going to die tonight. And you go, 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 You have spiritual midwives in the spirit. But I saw a demonic midwife that every time she was giving birth to something was killing the baby. But the midwife got to go tonight. And I decree everybody in here that got a demonic midwife by your womb. It's getting off of you tonight in the name of Jesus. Sit down. Lift your hands, woman. I'm looking at you. But while I'm looking at you, I see a young man in your eyes. And I see the enemy trying to worry you into a stroke.
in every partner's life. But you're going to have one-on-one -on -one time to minister and for me to minister to you and talk to you. You need a prophet, a genuine prophet, a bona fide prophet. I want absolutely everyone who believes in this ministry and don't ever want Prophet Khan worried about a dime. I want you right now to search within yourself. Ask the Lord, should I give $30 a month, $60, or $100? Not just a one-time gift, but at least commit to it for the next 12 months, for a year. Every month, to for, only, for my partners only, every month, I'm going to be having phone meetings where you're calling a number, and I'll be ministering to people on the phone. Every month. I'm going to be having all kind of meetings where I take the time and minister to the partners. You will get information that everybody else don't get. You will get access, insight, favor, things that everyone don't get. Everyone who commits to being a partner today. I just hooked up with a company who, and I'm giving these away. I know some of y'all are saved and don't believe it, but a lot of saints in here are on medicine. A lot of saints take medicine. Some of you have family members that take medicine. And I have a card that I want to give away to every partner that you get your prescriptions 20 to 80% off. I'm going to give that to every partner. That's the first gift. Then pins will come. All kind of things are coming, but for sure. I'm going to begin to have these private impartation meetings. Impartation is me laying hands on all of you that have the gift of prophecy. Activating those gifts. Stirring those gifts up. Pushing you into the place of your destiny. Every eye closed all over this house. Lift your hands. Father, I've done what you said. I'm not sure what time it is because this computer went dead. Whosoever it is. I'm not sure what time it is, but you that are watching me, you have 25 minutes, 25 minutes. Opportunities of a lifetime must be seized on the lifetime of that opportunity. If you want to be a part of the mouth of God, that's a hundred dollars a month. You want to be the teeth of God, that's $60 a month. Want to be the tongue of God. That's $30 a month. There are several of you who are going to believe God tonight. I feel so many miracles in here. So many miracles. You that are online, click the donate button now. And become a partner while the anointing is flowing. Right now while God's presence is flowing. All it takes is one word for your situation to change. Is that camera to my face? Is it looking right at me? All it takes is one word for your situation to change. We're going to the nations. The only reason I have to go to the top by myself is if I don't bring nobody with me. I want to bring you with me. Let's go on a journey. Let's take America by storm. Let's not only be prophetic people, let's be prophetic prayer warriors that can tap into the mind of God who can hear God's instruction hear God's direction hear God's favor all over this room there were people who say prophet I want to be a partner prophet I want to give $30 a month prophet I want to give $60 a month if that's you raise your hand all over this house raise it high 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 let me see it I don't know where the envelopes are do we have any? Elder Sledge, uh, John, whoever. Do we have any? You that want to become a partner, wave your hand high. You that want to become a partner, Brian Carn Ministries. Get an envelope. They're going to bring them to you. Don't put your hand down till you get one. Let's move quick if we can. Shanda manini miki anzala la boho. Everybody praying in the Holy Ghost all over this room.
If you want to set it up by your credit card to take out so much a month, automatic, put it on the envelope. Make sure you note that on the envelope. Take out this amount every month on what day. And we will honor that. Make it very clear. I'm so excited about what I feel God doing. If you're going to be a part of the mouth of God, giving a hundred dollars, make sure you put that on your envelope. If you're going to be a part of the teeth of God, make sure you put that on your envelope. Teeth of God, sixty dollars. Tongue of God, thirty dollars. If you want to sow, God told me in prayer. He said, "Everyone who connected to the prophetic anointing on your life." He said, I'm going to begin to send visitations from angels to their houses. Visitations. I mean, things are getting ready to happen so awesome and mighty in your life. All over this room, you need to be moving. All over this room, you need to be getting those envelopes. If you haven't got an envelope, raise your hand high. Raise it high. Let them see. We still have someone here on my right that doesn't have an envelope. You have it. You do have it. All over this place. Moving. Do we have anybody in overflow or nobody's in overflow? It is people in overflow. You in overflow. I'm sure they got you. If you want to become a partner and you're in overflow, raise your hand. Get past the cold. Kalabanzola Pearl. Get Pearl cold. Is she here? Is she downstairs? She's not feeling well. Okay. Caleb Kista. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. As soon as you fill out that envelope of what kind of partner you want to become, can somebody get this mic right here and put it right here in the center? Get this mic here, somebody. Put it right in the center, turning that way. Yeah, in the center. As soon as you have, whether it's 160 or 30, you that are online, you need to watch it. I feel, I, I, you, you, you all don't understand what I know God's getting ready to do. Somebody shout, change is coming. I didn't say say it, I said shout it. Do you believe that tonight? It's going to get crazy in here in a minute. Can we pay for 30 more minutes? Please? <laughs> Pretty please. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. On the internet, you know, bless the Lord. You that are going to be a part of the mouth of God, well, let's start at the tongue of God, $30 a month. You that are going to be a part of the tongue of God, $30 a month. Tongue, $30. Teeth, $60. Mouth, 100 If you want to be a part of the tongue of God, $30 a month. Right where you are, jump up on your feet. Whoever you are. Halabokosha. What I need you to do, when you're done filling out that envelope, and if we can limit it to 15 seconds, I want you to, are they going to bring the envelopes to me? I guess you can. Tonight is going to be your first night. Of giving that March would be your first month giving that $30 seed. And like I said, if you want us, is this right, John? If they want us to take it out automatically every month, make sure they put that on the envelope. What date, explain that. And do they put their signature by it or whatever? Okay, yeah. We can take it off of your card or whatnot. And we'll do it every month. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. I want you that are sowing that $30 seat a month. I want at least 10 of you right now to come jump to this mic in a line quickly. Okay, okay. Come to that mic. It's going to be hard. Maybe you should do the camera from this way now. I want you for 15 seconds. You're in the way of the camera. You're in the way of the camera. 
Come on this side. Why are you going away from me? Come to me. Over here. Uh, for 15 seconds, I want you to tell camera. Is that the camera? Whatever. Uh, or that one. For 15 seconds, I just want you to tell them what this ministry has done for you or why you want to sow into it every month. Go ahead, please. It can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. You are there. We, we were there. You were in uh, Charlotte and we flew out. I said, come on, let's fly and go see. And you were in another church in Charlotte. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We came out. I said, let's fly. And we flew out to see you. Bless you. you. You took up an offering of $200. And I said, you sold this from my business. Mm -hmm. And um, the next day, and my money came immediately back. Next day, you got to return. Yeah. Clap your hands for Jesus. It is so. Bless it in my hand. Bless in Jesus' name. Next, please. My reason is because of the truth that you stand for and the boldness and the way that you speak, the accuracy of the words that come forth from your mouth, and also I desire to have the truth. So place it in my hand. God grant unto him the desire of his heart by the word of a prophet. In Jesus' name, it is so. Talk, please. Um, mine is when I, my girlfriend Andrea and okay. Shakita they um, invited me to you and I went to the one that you had in um, Fort Valley and you said some things about saying yes to God and you know getting your house in order in Fort Valley and I've been doing that and mm -hmm. things have just been coming I mean just the doors been opening and opening oh. and opening on my behalf and my family's behalf and I just believe what the prophet says I just Shall believe and I Come believe it in my hand. Father, in Jesus' name, somebody shout miracles. Miracles. So shall it be. Please. I want to sow into Brian Corn Ministries because, for one, I believe in this man of God's ministry. For two, I have seen his ministry on television. I watch him on YouTube all the time. Amen. I've seen miracle signs and wonders follow this man of God's ministry. And for three, I want to sow because I want to help Brian Corn Ministries fulfill the worldwide mandate that God has given him. You called him, ain't you? How you doing? Good to see you. Bless him. In Jesus' name. Next, come on. Praise the Lord. I'm Cheryl. I'm just so blessed by this ministry from the first time I met this man of God at Ruach in London. And I want to sow because I believe in the genuine and the realness of God. I'm very old school myself, raised very old school. I like that. And my heart and my soul be a witness yes, Lord. with the ministry. And that's why I want to do that today. God bless you all. It is so. Somebody shout miracles. Good evening. Tonight is just confirmation for me tonight. God had already spoken to me to partner with your ministry. Wow. So I thank you for everything you're doing for the Lord. It and is God bless so. you. Stretch your hands to water. Lift your hands, baby. Even I this day bring you out of a low place and cause you to stand up on a high mountain, saith God. For the desire to step out into this business, God's going to open the door and give you the favor and the access that you need. Don't worry about the finances. Don't worry about how it shall happen, when it shall happen. But the Spirit of God said this day, I've heard your prayer. And I'm healing you from the broken relationship. I hear you this day. I see your heart split in two, in two different directions. You wanted to please one person, and while you was pleasing one, you was hurting somebody else. But God told me to tell you, this is now a change. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost in my belly. But this day, God says, I called you to go from a low place into a high place. And I set you on a sure foundation. That's the word of the Lord. God bless you. Come on, Sister Cynthia, talk to me. I want to sow a seed and be a partner with this ministry because of truth change and it's time out for tradition. Amen. Amen. 
Clap your hands. Somebody say, time out. Talk to me. I'm just being obedient and sewing into your ministry because I know that your ministry is going to change a lot of people. I receive that. Stretch your hands to water. Lift your hands. I don't want you to ever worry about youngins. I don't ever want you to worry about are they going to be taken care of. Some man is supposed to pay and ain't doing what he said he going to do. But God don't want you sitting up worrying about that in the wee hours of the night. I see you worrying all time of night, two, three in the morning, tossing and turning, can't get no sleep. But tonight God told me to tell you, go home, pack your bags, because you finna move from where you at. Go! It is so. Talk to me. They must be her friends. They must know her. Talk to me. Tonight I want to um, sow my seed to your ministry, Brian Kern, um, as a seed also to my production company because I believe that you are obedient and I am being obedient to the word of God. I accept. Thank you. Shut your hands to to Say it is so. It is so. Bless you. Good evening. What's wrong with your arm? It, my wrist hurts. It hurt bad? Mm -hmm. Hurt right now? Like if God healed you, would you know? Probably so. Stand right there. Close your eyes. Stand behind her. Stand behind her. Breathe on her. when it come, you know? Yeah. She said, yeah, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Move it. How you feel? Talk to me. Lift your hands. God told me to tell you you're not going to die. You don't got to write out no will. You don't got to put no inheritance in place. The Lord said you shall not die. But you shall live. Hiya. And declare the works of the Lord. Shut your hands to water. I burn every infection out of your body. There it is. Let's receive it, baby. Let's receive it. I burn every infection out of your body. Heal. Shut your hands to water. If you're going to hold the mic, keep it to my mouth. Now, you, they, they can't talk. Shut your hands to water. Jesus makes you whole. Go back to the doctor. Watch God. Whose report will you believe? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He was wounded for your transgression. Bruised for your iniquity. Somebody lift your hands all over this house. It is so. Talk to me. Talk to me. Glory to God. I want to be a partner because I've been asking God to help me to be a blessing to you. You prophesied to me at Pastor Hogan Church. Okay. My name Phyllis McKenzie. You oh. at you said God said there's a McKenzie in here, I and goodness. I mean, and I was standing there saying he'll never 
tell, say, Mackenzie, mm. and God spoke to you, and you said, Mackenzie, wow. come here. Mm. And then you said, I want to say your name is Phyllis. That was mm. my name. It was all God. My God. I cried for the whole weekend my because goodness. God spoke to me. Wow. And the prophecy with that, God was going to give me $56,000, right. take off my shoes and, and run. run around the church. And I ran. That's right. I ran. Yes, and, and I know God is able. I know yes, he's going to do it. I'm believing and standing yeah. on and his is, word. Man. And I believe the prophet. Yes, ma'am. I believe the prophet. And I Thank you so for being be. a true prophet of God. It is so. Somebody say it is so. Please. I um, want to sow into your ministry, one, because you didn't prophesy to me, but you laid hands on me, and I came into contact with the real, true anointing of God. Wow. Two, because my friend, Robert Kareem Graves, that used to play the organ for you, he died, and I don't want you to die full. I want you to die empty, Amen. and I don't want you to worry about no money. And three, because I got a 21-year-old prophet in my house, and I want to make sure that if I do it for your ministry, that God will continue to strengthen her ministry in Jesus' yes, name. It is so. Somebody say it is so. Jesus name. Talk to me. Yes, I just want to be a part of something real. I connected Amen. with your spirit as a leader of my family and as a minister of God. I want to be connected. I want my family to be connected. Yes, sir. And I want to set the road for my children. Yes, sir. And I want us as a family. My wife loves you. I accept. Okay? She's the boss. Okay. So I'm here because of her. <laughs> uh, so, so I just want to be a part of you and impart into me. And we want to impart into you the I best accept. that we can. I accept. It is so in Jesus' name. Shut your hands toward this crowd. Father, come here. You scared? No, I'm not scared. Oh, <laughs> lift your hands. Father, lay hands on him. <laughs> Give him what he wants. My God, I feel the knowing going He's through my body. Out of soul. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name. You online. Please go in peace. You online, Donna Lynn. Come, come, baby. Jesus! It is so. Come, come. Walk, walk. W-A-L-K. Jesus. Jesus. You online want to be partners of this ministry. You need to. You that are saw that $30 seat, come now. You that are sowing that $30 seed, $30, come. Blessings. The $30 seed, blessing. Blessing. The $30 seed, blessings. Blessings. Oh, how many y'all away, huh? Blessings. 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 Come, blessings, 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 blessings. This young man right here, come back, Camp Michael. Is it Michael? Is it Michael? Shh. Is it Michael? I prayed over some oil in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I said everything this oil touch is going to change. His pastor, is that right, had had a stroke. How long had she been not communicating? For about a week. For about a week. She had a stroke and couldn't do nothing for a whole week. He took that oil and laid hands on his pastor. And what happened? She said, I'm so glad you all came to see me. <laughs> Wasn't talking at all. The oil touched and she stopped talking. Somebody say hallelujah. Miracles. You that are online listening, go ahead, just take your seat. Miracles. Taking a lead at the altar. Miracles. Miracles. I want to talk to this camera. Listen. Back up. I got back up some more. I don't got no sense. Pray for me. God is releasing miracles in this room. I feel a mighty presence of God here. It's such a peace in here. And uh, you that are watching online, you need to become a partner of Brian Conn Ministries. 
you see the button on the screen. Donate now. Don't let this moment pass you by. Opportunities of a lifetime must be seized during the lifetime of that opportunity. Show up to Walmart with an expired coupon. I promise you, you won't get a thing. You didn't seize the moment. Right now is your moment to be blessed. You that are watching, become a partner of Brian Carn Ministries. Let's take the nation by storm. Place to place. God has not just called me to America. He's called me to the world. Of course, I need your help. We're going to go on a journey together. We're going to change the country. We're going to change the world. We're going to stand before kings, princes, governors. We're going to stand before presidents and heads of states. I need your help. I'm telling you so. Your life will never be the same of God $60 a month if you're here jump in this little aisle you might just want to turn your phone off <laughs> they're my phones oh they're my phones I'm sorry Lord it's, it's his fault hmm Oh, well, tell her, come here. Yeah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shut your hands toward these people. Father, in Jesus' name, I decree a supernatural miracle. You that are giving that $60 a month. Jump in this middle line right now. They brought a woman tonight. Who's been diagnosed with cancer. I believe she's young. And I told them to just get her here. God will make her whole. I am the Lord. I am the Lord that he lift thee. I am the Lord, your healer. You don't know it? You don't know it? Okay. Hallelujah. 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 God's presence. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. He's here. He's here. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Her miracle depends on your worship. Come on. Let me hear it. Come on. Hallelujah. fancy.
God in this house. Lift your hands and say, How great is our God. Sing with me. Is our God. All will sing. Is our God. Now lift your hands and tell them, you're the name above all names. You're the name above all names. You're worthy of all praise. And my heart, and my heart will say, how great is our God. One more time, give the name. Lift your hand and speak well of him. Tell him how awesome he is. Think of what he brought you out of. Think of what he delivered you from. Think of how he was there when nobody else was. Think of how when everybody else let you down, he's been a good friend. He's kept every promise. He never reneged on his word. He never misjudged you. He never took advantage of you. He looked beyond your faults and saw your need. Lift your hands, open your mouth and worship. If you didn't come to worship, you're in the wrong place tonight. Open your mouth and bless him. Shah! Shema! la 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 boys. Come on out of your belly. Think of his goodness. Think of his favor. Think of his peace. Think of his mercy. Think of his love. Think of his kindness. Think of his peace. He's altogether wonderful. He's altogether awesome. I would trade him for nothing in the world. He's the lover of my soul. He's my redeemer. He's my keeper. He's my way maker. Shayla Mania. Oh, let me. Say, let me. Praise the band. Oh, let me.
Shata.
Your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. Your word. For he alone is worthy. you all the glory. We together worthy all together together worthy 